Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. So as promised, I am going to show you the doodles on the wall a little bit into detail before something magical happens. So let's see. So I got this idea just to embellish a little bit the wall of the kitchen in this apartment. So uh, let's see. I, I just, what did I use? I used these markers here. Um, Expo something, bold color, dry erase. And uh, I did the little classic uh, double flap Chanel Matelassé with different colors, a lot of double C's here. And uh, this actually turns on and off the light. That's the clasp. Instead of a double C, we have the light switch. A little double C here with different colors. Maybe, yeah, I don't know, it could be a brooch or something. A necklace. What am I talking about? A bracelet. Sorry. <laughs> it's a classic bracelet with a type of Byzantine cross uh, in the style of Chanel. And then a high heel shoe with the Chanel logo on it. A huge double C logo here. And the Maltese mixed with Byzantine cross up here. This is in the shape of a brooch, which did come out some a couple of years ago. Not as pointy on these edges as you see here. A bit more rounded, but usually these would be made in this, 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 and that would, and this and this, would be made of um, Grepois glass poured glass, liquid glass, as would, no, these would, actually these on the bracelet that I have, uh, these are pearls, which I turned blue, and the rest is enamel. Double C would be in metal, gold-toned metal. Um, so this is kind of more or less the total overview, sorry, there you go. Uh, yeah, that's what it is, and, uh, because I'm planning on filming something here next, uh, and because, you know, I am of the belief that stuff should be like, you know how the Buddhists are, they create out of sand a picture, and the picture takes, I don't know, a long time, I don't want to say weeks or months, I have no clue how long it takes them. And then with just a whiff of a hand or wind, they just blow that amazing picture out of sand away. So that's what we're going to do together tonight. I am going to uh, whiff away this uh, Chanel wall, these Chanel doodles, uh, to make space for new doodles. Uh, so the beauty of it is just in our memories for whoever likes it. For who doesn't, move on. Look at that. That's how quick things disappear. You know, it's painful to see your little art piece go away, but it's so freeing at the same time. There you go. Bye-bye. Time to move on, as they say. And here goes the boot. Now, you could play this video backwards at a certain time and see the whole painting reappear again, magically before your eyes. There you go. Making space for something new is also a lot of fun. Let's just get these edges straight and correct. And here goes the next double C. This one is really big. I gotta move away to catch it completely. You know, destruction isn't always destruction. We're taking something away to build something new, so we should not be afraid of letting go. At least I say this to myself all the time <laughs> when something like this happens. But this is necessary. It's like an exercise. Learn to let go. Only when you learn to let go will things come to you. It's one of the hardest exercises to learn. I mean, I got some numbers there. Ah, <sighs> okay. Now, of course, we think destruction takes shorter than creation does. In a way, maybe it does, because this took just a couple of instances, and it took me a couple of hours to make it, and instead, voila! A free wall, empty space, we're going to clear our minds, and we're going to make something new. So, that was liberating, I have to say. As I was saying, liberating. And, uh... Free wall to make something new, making space for something new. So, 
That was a great exercise. So uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more wacky videos. This wasn't that wacky, but it's a great exercise. And if anybody of you would like to do the same, try, try it out. It's a weird tingly sensation. Create something, draw something, and then just shred the paper after that and let it go. And then make room, make space in your mind for something new to create some more and move on. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.